Hey, I'm Todd. Thanks for choosing to watch my video. And if you would subscribe it, like it, all that stuff, you know, uh, that would be great. Otherwise, enjoy the video, and I hope it uh, gives you the information you need and is helpful to you. Take care. 2009 Buick Lucerne. Sure, this is good for other vehicles too. 3800 Series 3 V6. <clears throat> this comes off here like that. Cap comes off like that. Get your uh, piece off there. There's a little nubby fits in this hole back here. So we got this uh, 10 millimeter bolt back here. 15 millimeter bolt here for this bar. And we have uh, probably a couple 15 millimeter bolts here for the alternator along with uh, this one right here. That'll be out of the way. 15 millimeter bolt here for the tensioner. And we'll go counterclockwise to release the tension. Take the belt off. Do we even need to mess with this? I don't think that we do. I'll leave that alone. All right. Alternator belt. And then we have maybe three, possibly four 15 millimeter bolts. Oof. One here. One back here. And I think there's going to be one more down here behind this. Three or four. And then we can get this assembly off, coolant assembly off, and get this pipe, which is lost. Blew out. I've never seen that before, but it's missing pieces. And then there's one down here. And we'll replace them with the nice aluminum ones. That is the overview of what's being taken apart. We'll just lay the alternator off to the side. And we have a coolant jug underneath to catch coolant that comes out. Fifteen millimeter deep and medium. I'm going to go ahead and use my air ratchet. All right. So, yep. Yeah. One bolt, two bolts. There's another bolt down here hiding. I'll take those off and kind of carefully slide it out.
the plastic fitting down there is kind of being sticky in there. It'll probably break apart and we'll have to dig it out with a pick most likely. So we'll need to use a pick and uh, dig that out of the hole there. May dig something out of there too. That is removing this thing and then we'll just use our uh, picks and screwdrivers and pick the stuff out of here. Might want to keep this thing pointed down so the stuff goes down and doesn't come up. And uh, you'll see no fluid came out of here because it's low with that big hole it kind of blew all out but you'll probably have some coolant coming out so we'll just catch it down below in our container all right so you do want to be careful that you get everything out because you don't want a restriction like this so you should get that out and we'll wipe it all down with a rag i got the other piece out of the other hole over here there's my pieces and my tools just screwdrivers and pick work it out, use a rag, clean the holes out, and I'll be ready to put back together pretty soon here, quick. All right, so we got our pieces here. This bigger fat piece is gonna go into the engine down here. And this one is the same on both ends. And it does slide in and out, if I can show you, because there will be some adjustment in going on here. So we just got it lubricated with a little, little bit of grease, maybe use some silicone spray. We'll get see about getting these in. And kind of push this uh, front one in a little bit more it's too far to the front so we can adjust it in and out as we need to that one's looking pretty good can't really see that one A little bit of grease, they slide in, slide in pretty nice. All right, all the bolts are sorted by hand. Go ahead and tighten them up. And uh, reverse procedure to install. I don't really have any torque specs for you. Just make sure they're tight. And uh, yeah, I think it's a pretty easy job and you can do it. And we'll uh, add some coolant to it. And uh, this goes down again to loosen tension. Do that, take the belt off. And we'll put some coolant in the radiator right here. Certainly, I don't know how what happened to you if you had a small crack, so you might have to take might be a gallon to two gallons somewhere. We'll see how much this takes, and uh, we'll fill it up. So there's a bleeder on here, a seven millimeter little screw. Don't want to lose it; that's a pain in the butt. So got it loosened up. We should see some air out of here. Pouring coolant into the hole here, radiator. Already got like a half a gallon of 50-50 mix of green coolant. 
probably want to put in whatever came out so by the time you're watching this video who knows exactly what coolant's coming out of your vehicle or if it's just some kind of rust colored blah I don't see anything gushing out anywhere which is always nice I'll just keep adding fluid and hopefully we'll see some bubbles and some coolant coming out of the housing. Once it's a stream of coolant, we can shut that. I have not put any belts on, no, I have not. <laughs> 